You know what? Neat Freeze's island, well, the spawn island that she designed, is really nice. Nice terrain, the other cliff, I like what she did with the uh, lamps, and of course the custom trees. Also what I like, hang on, I gotta, uh, I, can't, I can't, I can't fly, there we go, I can fly, I can fly, I can fly, is the Igniter Season 3. Now, this inspired me to do something really cool, and we built it at the beginning of the season, and it never got done, but, welcome. I'm going to go into F1 here. Welcome to VidMC's Tunnel of Love that I built. Basically, backstory is at the very beginning of the season, Vid, we all started on that island and Vid wanted to make a tunnel to get through so that he could go build his uh, villager breeder, I think. And uh, yeah, me, Dano and Zero said we were going to do something, but Zero and Dano ended up doing their own things. So I came back this week and decided, you know what? We're going to get this fixed. Lots of good texture in here. We basically tried to use some of the old with some of the new copper with some quartz. We went with mud variation with deep, uh, not deep slate, um, um, pointy stuff. Yeah, pointy stuff blocks and some tough in the roofs. We also then uh, blended in some mossy cobble, put some pillars up. We tried out the um, copper bulbs, the new, the new blocks. These are really cool. And of course, we then finished it up with, of course, um, texturing with all the nice, you know, the blocks and stuff like that. And of course, coral. Yes, I literally couldn't figure out the words. But yeah. But I know that's not what you're all here for. You want to know a couple of things. And one, I know it's all about the head games for the next couple of weeks. And everybody wants to know who's got through and who hasn't. But you know what? There's a couple of things I want to do before that. First off, we're going to check our shops. So as you know, I've got a lot of shops and I've been neglecting them. Um, so I said I'd go and check. Now I've been re... But I haven't been neglecting them at all. Everybody's basically been buying them out and then I've just restocked them. So I've said, okay, that's not a problem. I'm going to come in here, see if anybody's bought anything. No, no, no. Um, oh, three diamonds in the... In the... I know these are not going to sell. These just don't sell. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, these are all from Zero. From his Guardian thing. This is insane. And this was my pony from the beginning of the season. Uh, me and Vid had horses. In fact, I wonder if Vid still has his horse up there somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to head over now to the ingots and stones. And... Oh, someone's been here. So, guy... They are right. Oh my word. Okay, 18 diamonds. And we've got two. Uh, this is the granite. Okay. Okay, this was full of copper. One stack, one diamond. Okay. There's no way this is all gone, right? Calcite, two stacks for a diamond. No, that's not. Oh, good. I've still got. I've got some stock left then. Two stacks, one diamond. Okay. Uh, I used them uh, to finish off what Neat was doing with the bridge. Uh, one stack, two diamonds. Anybody? Oh my word. I stacked six. What? Okay, okay. We're go we're going to continue this. We're going to continue this. We're going to head over to the terracotta shop now. Now, there's no way this is empty. There's. Uh, there cannot be. It cannot be empty. I have restocked this 11 times. I want to point out this is not exaggeration. This is not me hyping up the video or anything. It is actual fact. Ask any igniter 11 times in one week. A certain man, for, yeah, Fedora Master, you, 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 a neat freeze, have literally been buying everything out. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for it. But please don't all be gone. <sighs> Well, they didn't take them all at least. Okay. 14. Let's have a look in here. Anything in the grey? No. What's this? Magenta? No. Brown. No one's going to take brown, are they? Uh, pink? Nothing. Blue? Nothing. I think the green's still there. Yeah. Okay. On this side, we got red. Did they take any reds? No. White terracotta? Oh, okay. 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 Uh, yeah. I don't think anyone's going to take yellow, are they? What about orange terracotta? No. Wait. What? Hmm, sus. 
Okay. At least leave a note. Uh, what's this? Blue? Did anyone take any blue? No. This is black terracotta? No. We've got the light grey and purple. So it's literally just red, normal terracotta, and what was it? The greens that are selling. Okay. So that is a haul. Oh my word. That is, look at all the diamonds! Oh my god, there's so many! This is great! I'd better pick these up, though. Yeah, um, so... That's literally, um, solved a few problems. Oh, let me check the seasoning freeze. In the last video, I did ask me... Well, or is it, what is it, last night? Last... Three, uh, no, she hasn't collected it yet, so... I'm just waiting for her to... Uh, I put in an order with neat freeze for a, um... Crown for the head games, for the winner's gonna get the crown. They can wear that with pride, because yeah, it's getting uh, it's getting crazy cray out there. But anyway, we're gonna go make these into cubic cubes, diamond cubes. Wash. Give me nine. Wait, that's not it. There. That puts up to fifty. I, I gotta kind of make that to sixty-four because I've been spending my diamonds to do stuff. But anyway, this is not what you're after, is it? No, you want to know. How the bracket looks, who went through, who didn't. All right, let's roll it. Let's go. Okay, we are back, and here is the bracket with all the scores and some interesting results for week two, the quarterfinals. VidMC versus Fedora Master. Fedora Master came out on top with 1,285. VidMC came in with a score of 894. Fedora Master moves on to the semi finals. Uh, Painting Thing didn't submit a score. Blackie wins that with 1,132. Blackie goes through. So it'll be Fedora Master versus Blackie in the first semi final. Neat Freeze versus Dano, as you saw from her video. If you haven't, go check it out. Absolutely amazing. Because they're best of friends. They decided to uh, do a race, a raid. They would go raiding together, uh, produce a raid, and whoever got the most heads would win that round. And Neat Freeze came out on top. Uh, so the score submitted was 109, but Dano also got scores, but obviously she couldn't submit because she lost the race. So therefore, Neat Freeze went through. Very creative way of doing things, and I really appreciate that. Uh, I like that a lot. Dipping Blether versus Star M. This is the one everybody was looking for. Now, Star M did a whole stream uh, where he was raiding as well. Um, it was absolutely fantastic, and I do believe um, so did Blackie as well. Blackie spent a good three hours raiding. It was insane. People went crazy. Uh... Dippy Blether, however, came out on top with 1,504 points to Stars 928. GZs to everybody. But rule announcement. There is no more peeking. They're not allowed to peek in each other's chests. They are not allowed to team up. No teaming, nothing. It is 1v1, 1v1, winner takes all. Doggy dog, you have to go for it. Everybody has to submit a score this week. It is the semifinals. And... I can't wait to see who goes through. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Those are your scores. So the, this week, uh, going from Monday the 18th all the way through to the Friday, Fedora Master will be fighting off against Blackie. Neat Freeze will be fighting off against Dippy Blether. Oh, Neat Freeze has one heck of a uh, challenge. Now, if we roll it back and I just scroll back, you will look at this uh, bracket and you will see how it went through. We'll just do a quick rundown. Iron Knight didn't participate and forgot to submit his score. Fedora Master went through in the first round of 535. Zero didn't do anything. Paint Thing for 800. Blackie 1500. Dark John 503. So then it went Fedora versus Vid. Paint versus Blackie. Neat Freeze got a buy in the first round. Gongsul versus Dano. Dano put 1091 scoring. Uh, Skunk Monkey versus Dippy, which was the closest game we've had to date. Uh, was Skunk 1064, Dicky, Dippy, uh, Blether, Dicky, Dicky Bird, uh, Dippy Blether with 1503, and of course, Dippy Blether will, went on to fight off against Star. Dippy's actually had like some real tough competition. Like, seriously, you look at those scores, and you know what? She should be proud of herself. She's done really well. She took this really seriously, and she wants to win. Uh, she needs those diamonds to pay her evil landlord, uh, Dark John. He, 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 it's a bit, it's, it's uh, I don't know, I don't want to get involved, but, you know, it's a little bit weird. So, uh, yeah, she's got this whole thing done, so she's participating. She needs to win. She needs those diamond blocks to pay off her landlord. Debts have got to be paid, I guess. Rent. Who knows, right? So, Fedora Master versus Blackie, Neat Freeze versus Dippy Glover. And that is this week's semi-finals. Uh, sadly, that's all I've got time for today. Uh... You know what? That's because I had to fill up all my things. And you know what? 
It looks like I'm gonna have to get a storage room. These shulker monsters, there's hundreds. Like in the base as well, there's loads. So yeah, that's all I've got time for today. Uh, short video, I know, I apologize, but the head games is taking up a lot of my time. Keeping score, keeping track, answering questions and stuff. It's a big game, people are taking it serious, and I hope everybody's having fun with it. But yeah, like, favorite, subscribe, leave a comment below which you, who do you think is going to win the head games here on Ignite 8. Leave a comment below, and I will see you next time. Bye!